I'm filing, I'm filing a notice of appeal and I've prepared my record of appeal which I'll be, which I'll be filing at the uh, Court of Appeal to reinstitute my application and the petition because I feel that the Justice, my Honorable Justice Majanja handled it rather casually and he did not address the key issues I raised. I feel that uh, he did not appreciate that the proceedings that were before the committee were, in the, were a, a complete affront against the Constitution of Kenya. The judge erred by not appreciating that the jurisdiction is a, a question of jurisdiction is a matter of law. And if the proceedings were unconstitutional, then the body conducting them could certainly not be closed in a, with the jurisdiction to conduct them. The judge also failed for the error by not appreciating that there is nothing in 884 of the constitution that entails IEBC to be a judge in its own course. It, is, it says the IEBC will do ABCD, uh, the, the disputes and whatever. A similar provisions also exist for the Political Parties Act, but the political parties have a special tribunal which is a standing tribunal whereby if there's a dispute, then you go for the tribunal. You cannot, uh, the, IBC, uh, the IEBC's commissioners do not have the capacity to turn themselves into an independent court or body to put anybody on trial for mistakes they have committed. And where there is an accused party, and if we allow that to continue, it means we are going to suffer. Then secondly, uh, the, the Honorable Judge made a very, very dangerous ruling on the question of locusts taking us back to the days of when Wangara Matai was denied to defend Uhuru Park because she had no lockers. And he, he decides to look, to look at Article 22A alone, he leaves the other articles in the, uh, the other sections of Article 22, which in effect means he has overthrown those articles in the Constitution, which cannot be allowed to stand, and we must, those, that must be rectified. Also, so you also look at the judgment, you find that the, the judge read my petition selectively. Even the prayers, the prayers in his judgment, he does not address all the issues I raised. He, 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 he was dismissed. If you are dismissing an entire petition, you must address each and every issue in that petition. You don't think that one, two, three can be used to justify you have made up mind that the petition is not, that has no merit, and then you throw it out. We have questions about the, the Elections Act, whether Section 74 is properly constituted with the, with the vagueness in which it is written. Because it does not create a tribunal, it just, says this, it just gives a mandate without saying who will do it and how they will be done.